Hi everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix the tones, how to correct the skin on your portrait image and go from this to this using frequency separation. So let me remove this tone group at first and right now just in two minutes we go into create fantastic technique, we're going to use fantastic technique, not create, and get really fantastic result, which is going to fix all of these ugly tones from the image. As you can see, the skin is really nice, beautiful, mature skin. However, some of the tones are not really perfect. So I'm going to duplicate this background layer twice. And the layer number one, I'm going to call low frequency. And the other, high frequency low frequency is responsible for the colors and tones on the image and high frequency is re responsible for all of the small spots and details so I'm going to work with low, low frequency to show you how to fix the tones at first we have to go to the filter blur and Gaussian blur on the low frequency layer and the point is do not copy my radius i used over here because radius depends on the size of your image this size is pretty much big so if you have small uh, image if you don't have so many pixels you're supposed to use low radius under 10 pixels maybe however as you can see it's not enough for me because i'm looking for radius which go into blur out the image however blur out all of the small details from the image however it's going to keep the shape of the face so i'm still will be able to see the eyes and lips so my radius nearly 20 pixels is suitable as you can see i lost the small details all of the small spots however i can see the shape of the face then i'm going to high frequency layer and going to image apply image and for layer, I choose low frequency layer. For blending, it's subtract, scale to and offset 128. It's always like this over here. However, when we use 16-bit image, raw images are 16-bit. We're supposed to uh, choose blending instead of subtract. We're supposed to choose add, scale to and zero and invert selected here. So press OK and I'm going to put these two layers into the group. Control or Command G and I'm going to call this group Tones. And on this high frequency layer I'm going to change blending mode to linear light. So what we got now as you can see is exactly the same image because we didn't change the image. We just took the colors and tones over here and separate this from the details which are on our texture colors and texture i'm going to work on the low frequency and to not make it messy i'm just going to duplicate this layer and work on the separate layer so there's very simple method how to fix the tones just by using one move and one technique to do this i'm going to show you this right now we have to go to filter blur and I'm going to choose surface blur. I'm using a surface blur because it's going to define uh, my edges really nicely. And as you can see, radius is pretty much high because it's really big image, it's at 50. And when I pull it up, it might be too strong and it might influence my image too much. However, the difference is not that big because at some point it stopped doing the difference. However, when I put the radius really low, it won't fix the tones so I'm going to get the radius to the point it works really really nice it's fixing the tones and around 50 there's the moment when it won't change much anymore and about threshold it's supposed to be under 20 for me even maybe sometimes lower to define the edges because when we pull threshold too high as you can see we blown out the edges and we don't want this um, 
you can see this right now it's getting just messy it doesn't look so well so threshold down under 20 so it won't destroy our image and our tones are fixed so press ok and that's it you can see the result now unfortunately the progress in surface blur is really long so we have to wait and there is just um, a few things uh, to do left as you can see one move and our tones are fixed however I don't want to get this effect on the eyes and on the hair as you can see it influence the eyes a little bit so let's create layer mask and if you have too many other elements you can invert this uh, layer mask to the black and just paint over the skin but now I don't need that so I'm just going to use white layer mask and paint with color black to get the result of the eyes from my original image I started with I'm going to paint over a little bit on the lips However, as I said, the uh, surface blur defined edge is quite nice, so it's not changing the image much. So, right now, let's just see. And eyes are the same, everything is the same, but our tones are fixed. So, it was a very simple method, very quick method. And if you have just simple portrait image when there's not too many elements, probably this method is the quickest one, the easiest one, and one of the best one for sure. So thank you for watching this episode. Share this video with your friends which are interested in Photoshop. Share this video with other people which might be interested in Photoshop, in retouching. And I'm going to see you soon in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.